Hey guys, it's Matthew Klein here and in today's video I will be uh, potting up my Boulevard Cypress, also known as a False Cypress, from a nursery bag into a bonsai pot. So let's get started. Boulevard Cypresses are evergreen trees, that means they don't lose their leaves during uh, winter or uh, from autumn. And um, what I like about these cypresses, false cypresses or boulevard cypresses, the foliage is very soft. So it's not needle-like. You won't uh, prick yourself with the, with the foliage. I've already decided on a pot. So I have this nice blue pot over here. And already decided on a front of the pot and this this front the feet just looks a lot better on this side but I'll show you guys close-up of the pot when we do the repotting and you can see the the roots are starting to grow out of the the bag Just going to cut it open. And then just raking the soil out from the center all the way through. So this tree will make a really nice twin trunk. You can see there's already two trunks forming at the base okay let me go and give the roots a wash and clean up the the old soil over here okay i washed the roots now and you can see there's a really nice twin trunk already forming here so that's definitely the style that i will be going for boulevard cypresses are not drought uh, tolerant so make sure to always always keep the soil moist I'm just gonna cut off all these long excess roots so you can see my root plane will be down here a lot lower um, and then there's a couple of very high roots over here that I can take off. Just like that, there's a big root coming out. And then I have a root that it's going growing next to this trunk that I'm just gonna take off. There's another one growing from this trunk all the way across this one that I'm just gonna take off. There's a huge bulbous piece of root over here, but there's still some soil in between that I can take off. Oh, there's, there was a big taproot over here that was shortened. I might be able to shorten some more today. But first, let me go and give it another wash so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, this is a lot clearer. Um, hope you guys can see that there's a. I think this used to be a taproot. That's just way too too big and it has to go come off. I'm just gonna 
do this for now. The tree really doesn't have a lot of roots on this side, just this one at the back, which is not the greatest, but I don't want to take off too much. Let's just see how it will fit in the pot first. We'll need to take off a lot more actually. Okay, I'm going to. There's some two roots that I can just split a bit. Um, This root can be chopped off over here. Maybe even a bit shorter. There's a mouse root coming from this side. Um, this one at the top. It does have some new roots, so that's why I don't really want to cut it off. But it's going to stick up. Uh, I'll see what it will, if it will fit in the pot, and then cut off some more. But this root system, yeah, um, doesn't look too great. But hopefully, hopefully it will change in the future. I'm just gonna secure a little piece of mesh over the drainage hole. Training troll is not that big, so I have a small piece of wire that I can use. Okay, the mesh is secured. Now we can. And uh, this is the front of my pot. And the front of my tree, um, because this is a um, twin trunk style, you want both your trunks to be fairly visible. Um, and I'm not sure about the side branch if I'm actually going to keep it or not um, but at the moment I think this will be the front so let me see if this will fit in the spot This back one is in the way. I'm just gonna take it off. I'm just going to put a little bit of gravel over the drainage hole to help with the, the drainage of the water so that not a lot of soil will fall out as well. And this is quite a coarse uh, gravel. So just a little bit, not too much, and that just helps with the drainage. Now I'm just going to put some soil in. Let's see if this will position. This will work. I think I'm going to have to take off this piece. Yeah. Um, this one is also not doing some drastic stuff with the roots, but Hopefully it will will survive. Let's see. I'm 
I'm burying it quite deep in for now just because of the the roots being so weird at the moment tree is leaning quite a, a lot I just want to make it a bit upright I'm just gonna use some of that same gravel that I used for uh, on top of the drainage hole for topsoil decoration um, Next, I'll be just going in and clean out all the dead foliage so we can see what we can uh, prune and what we should leave. If you look at these branches, there's a branch over here. And then one growing in between the, the two branches, uh, just above in the shoulder of the branch. So I can take this one out. This branch is now growing directly above this one. So I think I'm going to take this one off completely. What I am going to do is shorten this branch. Um, just gonna cut it there and leave a little bit for dieback. Because uh, this branch might just come off completely and I think maybe in the future I will depending on how if it thickens out a little bit then it's quite nice I like to have something fill out this space And then this branch is this branch is going directly in front of the the main trunk. So I need to shorten this one as well. and that just clears out the the main chunk there I think I'm gonna reduce the height a little bit I'm just gonna take off this part Let's see otherwise I'll reduce it a bit more and this one should now become the new apex This whole trunk uh, branch over here is growing into this sec uh, the second trunk, which I'm not sure I should what I should do with that. Because it's growing so much into this trunk. I 
think I'm gonna take that this piece off. Wonder if I should take off this whole branch. Because this is the other trunk. It will or maybe just this part. I think for now I'm just taking off this part. I think I'm I'm going to take off this whole part because because these two are the trunks so there should not be something in between them and I have this back branch over here that will fill out the gap kind of in between the two trunks some two branches <coughs> growing above each other as well over here do I have to take off one of them I think I'm gonna take off the top one and now reducing the height I think I'm gonna do it over here now this will start to grow a bit more vertical either one of these at the top will start to grow vertical and become the new new apex and that means that I need to shorten uh, uh, this side as well a bit. With a twin trunk you always want to have one of the trunks a little bit shorter than, than the other. It doesn't have to be drastically shorter, just a little bit. see if I take this off what, what will it look like I'm going to take off this one This cut a little bit more diagonally, like that. I think I've done enough. Uh, butchering to this tree let's see if it will actually grow hopefully I haven't killed it but uh, yeah let me just take these things away I'm gonna try and see if these uh, boulevard cypresses can grow from cuttings and stick them in the soil but yeah let me spin this tree around so you can see it from all angles so this is currently the front um, going to the right side this is the back and I mean the 
a back can always always uh, be a front as well then to the left side and then back to the front so yeah depending on how it develops might take off this branch and just have these two trunks but we'll have to see this is the first styling that this tree is getting so there's still still lots of years to go last step is to give it some water so Making sure the soil is nice and tight in the pot. Thank you for watching the repotting of this boulevard cypress. It still has a long way to go, but I think if it survives it will be a really nice bonsai thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a like subscribe for more content and until next time cheers <laughs>